Everybody start clapping right now. Start clapping right now for Salim Salim. True. I am higher than the seats on the party today. I am. I've been doing some reading today. Some actual research. Something I don't do. So I'm usually too high to do it. <laughs> It's fucking horrible, like I fall asleep at the table kind of like, like, it's so fucking boring, it's like, I just put them, I'll just open the book and just be like, how many fucking chests are on this shit? Yeah, I'm not going to change this Jim Crow, 1930s. It was a fucked up time. It was, I'm pretty sure it's way more than that, but I was thinking about some shit like, when was Superman created? Superman was created in 1933 by two high school kids during a time where black people weren't really liked. I'm pretty sure there's a racist Superman comic out there. There's an old fucking way. You can't tell me that there wasn't a comic out there where it's like, oh yeah, Superman is just saving everybody except niggas. Like, <laughs> you can't tell me like, oh yeah, Superman is coming. Holy shit, we're saved. Not the world of parts, you were supposed to be in the back. <laughs> like, no, I'm only here to save all the white people in the front, and you were supposed to be back there. I'll think about that shit all day, like I feel really good about that. Uh, I like the fact that, now that I think about it, it's not that bad that we weren't in all the cinema, or at least we weren't depicted as, as who we should have been. You know, cause like, so I, I was at Jiffy Lube like a while ago and uh, getting oil change and I was sitting in the waiting room and they had King Kong on the, on the thing, right? You know, King Kong was obviously a white dude in money too, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna trip about that. <laughs> so, you know, obviously at this point, King Kong, he's not on the Chrysler building or nothing like that. He's just standing on the street, just looking at everybody. I'm looking at everybody in the crowd, look up at him and all uh, like, I'm about to get fucked up. <laughs> He's about to fuck all of you up. But I'm like, this is in black and white, so I'm pretty sure this is maybe in the 30s or 40s. So I'm pretty sure there's no black people in the crowd. And I felt really good about this. It like, yeah, <laughs> y'all getting fucked up by, I don't know. <laughs> Now I did that joke before and I was trying to recreate that shit because it was a really good night. Again, thanks to Steven. Where the fuck you at? Where the fuck you go? Right here, right here. Uh, thanks. Your tits were awesome that night, thank you, sir. <laughs> 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 I listen, I listen to that shit constantly. Like I laugh at my own shit every fucking night I watch it. They're always uh, here for you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> like there's nobody's tits I want to see in the front row but yours, buddy. Wow. Yeah. My bad, sorry, not you, but uh, when you're not here, like, <laughs> am I killing it? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, wait, where the white girls at? Are they still here? I really wanted them to be here so bad, so I was like, look, it's Whoa Vicky and who that other white bitch? <laughs> no, no, that's who, wait, who, I was like, no, but she looked like a dude, so she had that little pixie cut. I'm like, it's not worth that. Honestly, the old one remind you of the Catch Me Outside girl. Right? That's what the fuck I was thinking. I'm like, I was like, oh, that Catch Me Outside bitch looked like a dude today, but all right. Catch Me Outside, no, go, Dad. Boy, yeah, I'm like, I was like, yo, that, that, uh, Hanover Street Bridge is not fucked up enough for these bitches to come out of Brooklyn looking like that. <laughs> I'm just like, yo. Oh my god. I felt really good saying that. I don't really roast people like that on stage. You know, Cinco de Mayo. I don't drink. I'm just a smoker. I just, I just prefer to be high when I fly. Uh, a whole bunch of other shit. I'm, I'm really winging it like I always do. Uh, <laughs> like, I try to write, I try to be like all technical and advanced and all that shit. I can't do it, I'm sorry, I'm gonna forget it. As soon as I get up here. So yeah, I was writing all day and... Like, <laughs> uh, thanks Taylor, you're the shit. Hey. Anybody who come here looking like a renaissance? Never mind. Uh, <laughs> 
one of these days you're gonna have to let me host this bitch. Like I've been here like Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you! I've been doing this shit like four or five years or so, like off and on, and I, you know, my anxiety is horrible. Like my shakes are so bad. Somebody gives you their newborn, I can give it a shake of baby system. Like it's, <laughs> it's, it's fucking horrible. Like I, I really wish it wasn't that way. But like I was thinking, what if I was a host? And I called Taylor up on the stage. It's like, hey, this guy has got more season in his last name than he's got in his city. Come on, Taylor Peppers. Yeah, good. Get up there, buddy. Yeah. Not that for a little. But. Uh, <laughs> Not come on. Come on. All, right, all right. Thanks, everybody. All right. Salim, everybody. Salim. You're right. I ate my chicken bland as fuck. Butter. Butter chicken, man. That's